Hi, this is Jan from Painotopia.com and in this video I am going to teach you how to apply trigger point self-massage. Trigger point self-massage tackles, as the name already suggests, tender and trigger points. And it's really one of the best ways to relieve muscle and joint pain, even chronic muscle and joint pain, um, which evolved through wrong use or overuse um, of your body. But first of all, what are trigger and tender points? Trigger and tender points are tiny little knots in your muscle that can be extremely painful when you press on them or when they get pressed on. Sometimes they are so bad that they give you pain while you are at rest. Um, so what is the distinction, what is the difference between a tender and a trigger point? A tender point is a point that um, gives you only pain in the area of its location when you press on it or when it's bad when you not press on it, so at rest. A trigger point on the other hand can, um, as the name suggests, trigger po uh, pain to seemingly unrelated areas of your body. For example, I might have a trigger point right here in my chest and um, it might be so bad that I feel pain up here in my shoulder. This is why this is called, um, called a trigger point, because it triggers pain in another area. Before you can massage a tender or a trigger point, you have to find it. Or, you know, let's say you have to locate it, you have to know where it is. And um, you will do this by palpating your muscles, or in easier words, you are doing this by feeling your muscle. Um, you're inspecting it by feeling it, and you're searching for tender or tight areas. Now, let us say I press in here and I find this is very, very tender and it's very painful when I press in here, then I have found a tender spot, a tender point. On the other hand, when I press in here and it is really painful and the pain starts to radiate upwards my, my um, upper arm into the shoulder, then you have found a trigger point because the pressure you applied here is triggering pain in an other area. This is a trigger point. And I also want to tell you one thing that you please, please, please keep in mind when applying massage, no matter what massage, and when you are palpating for tender and trigger points or any tight muscle tissue. When you do that and you feel a burning or a tingling sensation right at the spot that you are pressing on, you might press on the nerve and not on the muscle. So please do not do that. It is not super dangerous, but it will give you unnecessary pain for a week or even two. Now, to get known what muscles you have to check for tender and trigger points, just shoot over to the symptoms and relief section and check all the muscles that are listed there. You know, click on them, study them. And um, of course, I will supply you there with all the information you need on how to feel the muscle, how to find the trigger and tender points. There will be pictures where the trigger and tender points are displayed. There's everything you will need. All you have to do is just shoot over there, click on the corresponding muscle and study that. And then search for tender and trigger points. To get rid of those points, um, self-massage is really a great option because you will literally squeeze those little points out of your muscles. Um, but as trigger and tender points are mostly very, very small, the success of the trigger point self-massage technique stands and falls with the precision you are working with. So again here, precise work does the job. To find um, tender and trigger points, you have to palpate the relevant muscle and search for them. As soon as you hit a trigger or a tender point, stay in this area and massage it for about 10 times. And um, please do not get caught up by the numbers I say. You know, sometimes I might say five to 10 times, sometimes I might say 10 to 12 times, but uh, you know, those are just numbers. You have to know how often you have to massage, um, want to massage it. There's, I mean, of course you don't want to massage it 50 times or just one time, that's obvious. Um, just go with your feeling. If a tender or trigger point is so bad, and believe me, it can be very bad, you might want to stop after you massaged it um, with five little strokes, you know, that's absolutely possible. On the other hand, you might progress with your trigger point massage um, already 
a little bit and your muscles um, they are not that tender and not that, that tight anymore but still there's some something in there that has to be massaged out then you definitely can massage 10 to 50 times so it's really up to you um, what I want to say is don't massage only one time and don't go there over 100 times you know don't do the extremes and figure it out a little bit for yourself guidelines are good but do not get guideline bound okay now I want to give you an example of trigger point self massage um, so that you will get the knack of it um, I am going to massage my infraspinatus muscle now so first of all, I take mas um, a massage equipment. I will use this lacrosse ball, which is a brilliant tool for self-massage. I will place it right on my shoulder blade. Yeah, I'm on there. And I'm searching now for tender spots by leaning against my super cool invisible bo uh, ball here. So, yeah, now I found a tender spot. I press on it. I slowly roll over that spot, now I passed it, I release tension, roll back, press in and slowly repeat. Press, roll over the point, release and repeat. Okay. This was very precise trigger point self-massage. Now, what I do not want you to do is placing this ball somewhere on a muscle and then yeah, rubbing around and rolling around over here. I mean, of course, you will feel where the muscle is tender and you will roll over that, but it's just too fast. Um, and your nervous system is not able to lower the muscle tension there. So do not roll around like this, you know, it really it's just not working. It's the same like having a tight biceps and wanting to relieve it like this or having neck pain and going to, you know, just squeezing around those muscles a little bit here, a little bit there. It's not working. Don't waste your time there because um, you're better off doing something else, you know. Um, so if you do some self-massage, focus on it. Slow and precise work does the job. Just keep that in mind. This was an example on how to apply trigger point self-massage and now I will show you a couple of massage tools that you can use for trigger point self-massage. You might use your thumb, your fingers, your knuckles or your elbow or different kind of balls, tennis ball, lacrosse ball, a soft lacrosse ball. You might even use a foam roller to do so. The use of those tools is explained in more detail under the massage section in Penotopia under the point self-massage tools. So you might want to shoot over there and check this article out to get known how to use those tools properly. And again, to get known to what muscles you should check for your specific pain symptom, just visit this section symptoms and relief here on Penotopia and read about the muscles that are listed there. That's really all you have to do. So I thank you for watching. This was it with the video of Trigger Point Self Massage. I hope you enjoyed it and I see you the next time.